Hello, welcome back to Western Washington History. The waters of the Puget Sound were once full of steam-powered ships, some carrying cargo, some carrying people, and some doing both. The first steamboat ever on the Puget Sound, or the West Coast for that matter, was the Beaver. I made a video about that, you can find the link in the top right corner. I made a video about that, you can find the link in the top right corner. It was one of my first videos, I hope they have gotten better since then. As the title says, this video is about the Yosemite, a steam sidewheeler ferry. The Yosemite was built in San Francisco in 1862. She was 252 feet long and made of wood. Owned by the California Steam Navigation Company, the Yosemite was used on the Sacramento River. Tragedy struck on October 12, 1865 when the boiler exploded just as the ship was leaving the Rio Vista dock. Fifty-five people were dead and many more burned. The ship was rebuilt and 30 feet added to her length. Now the Yosemite was 282 feet long. She continued in and out of service in California until Commodore John Irving bought the ship in 1883 for the Canadian Pacific Navigation Company. She was put to work in Vancouver, British Columbia. The Canadian Pacific Railway bought the ship in 1901. She was mostly used as a reserve ship at this time. The Puget Sound Excursion Company bought the old ship in 1906. This company had been created to run cruises out of Seattle during the Alaska Yukon Pacific Exposition. They made the deck and social hall larger to accommodate its new job. They also added a dance hall. In 1907, the role of the Yosemite changed once more. Now it was taking passengers from Seattle to the Navy's new ship repair facility located in Bremerton. If you would like to see a video of the Puget Sound Navy Yard, then click the link at the top right corner. Captain Grant, the Yosemite's captain, would carry up to a thousand passengers at a time. They had live music and food was catered. They also had boxing matches on the lower deck. Also in 1907, the Yosemite gained the distinction of being the only steamer to ever run into a horse and wagon when it came in too fast and destroyed 30 feet of dock in Seattle. In 1908, most of the students and faculty of the University of Washington went on an excursion to see the Great White Fleet. The Great White Fleet was the Navy's ships. They were circling the earth and were in the area at the time. Captain Mike Edwards was at the helm the evening of July 9th, 1909. As he approached Bremerton, the old ship turned towards the shore at 14 miles an hour. The ship's back was broken as it hit land. Captain Edwards said he expected the current to hit the boat differently than it did. He lost his license to pilot a ship for one year. The Yosemite was destroyed. No lives were lost even though they had a full ship of over a thousand people. The passengers were rescued by the Transport, Inland Flyer, and the Norwood. C.D. Hillman, a real estate developer, had just bought the boat. Mr. Hillman had sold some land and lied about its potential. Sold the same land to more than one person and sold land that was at the bottom of a lake, without disclosing the lake part. He served 18 months of a 30-month sentence in prison. Some believe he had the boat wrecked for the insurance money, although that has never been proven. That ends the life of the Yosemite steamer. If you like these videos, click on that little thumb up. If you find value in these videos, please think about subscribing. I would like to build this channel, but I need subscribers, so share the videos with people you know. Thank you, and remember, what you do today will be history tomorrow.